What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I have another unboxing for you slash review. This one is of the Grace Gift collaboration of new shoes for 2019. I have two gigantic boxes next to me of shoes that I have purchased from the last month or so uh, during their summer 2019 collaboration. So this includes the usual shoes, but they also introduce something new. They have clothing now. So I will open up this clothing, see if it fits, and give you a little bit of details about the quality of the items that I purchased. Uh, I'm really excited and in intrigued to see if these items fit so let's go ahead and break into it and I will tell you all about each item. Just a little mention on Grace Gift too. This is a Taiwan based company so anything that you order from them will get shipped overseas from Taiwan. Uh, their pricing on the website is also in Taiwan dollars, that's NTD. So if you order anything from there, or if you are curious, make sure that you notice that their pricing is in new Taiwan dollars. You can switch it to USD, but if you see something that says like dollar sign 599, that's not $599 USD. I always see that mistake on like the Facebook groups and stuff like that. It's actually like 50 bucks USD. So just make sure that you know uh, what the translations are whenever you're shopping on Grace Gifts website so that you know exactly how much you're actually going to be paying. Okay, and with that said, Let's go ahead and break into my boxes. Now I have noticed that Grace Gift Taiwan tends to be fairly accurate with their sizing. So if their website says for a specific shoe, um, please size up from your normal size, you should probably size up from your normal size. So that's exactly what I tried to do with this order. I went with my normal size, which is size 40, which is like the equivalent of a size seven and a half to eight. Uh, and then if it did say size up, I would size up to a size 41. So I'm going to go ahead and open this first box, which is huge. Ha! This one has Sailor Moon Fuku on the front with a bunch of gold foil stars and it says Sailor Moon Naoko Takeuchi toy animation. It's cute. This is from my earlier order that I ordered a couple of months ago. First in here is a little pack of cute little gift bags that you can coil up at the top and those feature a bunch of the Sailor Senshi wands. Very pretty. I also ordered this really cute canvas tote bag of Sailor Moon. So I'm not sure if this was a freebie or not. I don't remember, but this is a really cute canvas tote bag. It features Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal and it does have a shoulder strap as well as just regular handles. One thing that is really nice about this canvas bag is the little cosmic heart bag charm that you also get on the side that has some cute little sparkly gemstones on it and it's fairly heavy too, nice quality metal. So really cute canvas bag here. This has a bunch of plastic wrappings on it, so I actually need to take it all off because right now it's gonna make a lot of noise, but this is a beautiful pastel colored tote bag that you can also cinch up to create a little shoulder bag as well. Uh, this is really, really pretty. It came out a couple of months ago. Again, I don't think it's still in stock on the Grace Gift website, but on the front we have this really big, pretty Fuku bow. It also features the transformation brooch in the center of that bow and it's in a pastel pink, of course. And we also have the pastel blue for Sailor Moon's actual bag. So I really like this tote bag. Looking on the inside, there's no additional components to the bag. It's just one simple compartment. It does come with a little piece of cardboard that's covered in fabric that matches the bag that you can put on the bottom to make the bag flat. The back of the bag shows that you can unhook the pink bow, the ribbon that goes around the tote bag, and this allows you to tighten it to close it or to leave it open. And there is a little magnetic closure. However, that's not going to be as strong as a zipper, of course. So that item also came with a duster bag and I also got some new post-it notes which also feature the cosmic heart brooch. Next, I have another box which features the same kind of design on the front. This is cute. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Yay, I got a new baseball cap. Not that I wear baseball caps very often, but this is a cute one. Has a little crescent moon on the front and it's white. So very simple, very easy to wear, comfortable. <laughs> some more post-it notes. They put post-it notes in like every single box, this company, I swear. Okay, so in this box, I got these they look like they have platform heels, basically. They're like platform heel sneakers. Uh, these feature the Sailor Moon logo on the inside, and then on the tongue, 
We have the little transformation pen and it says Sailor Moon next to it in embroidery. Uh, the front of these are pretty simple. The ribbon, of course, is huge, and then we have the transformation brooch on the center. But the rest of the sneaker is just plain white, although there is a strip of blue around the front and around the back to kind of match with Sailor Moon's Fuku. These are cute, actually. I wasn't sure if I would like these or not. I hope they fit. So I will definitely test these out, try them on, and tell everybody how I think of the fit of these on my Instagram page. I also got these Sailor Moon knit sneakers. So these look like they're more breathable. Uh, they did say on the website that you need to size up because they can be snug. So that's what I did. I sized up to a size 41. I did have to wait because these went out of stock for quite some time until they came back in stock at that size. Uh, but luckily I was able to grab the ones that I wanted. Uh, these are white again. On the bottom it says Grace Gift and there's a little pink strip around the center that ties the laces together. Uh, there's a crescent moon on the side, which is not metal, it's made out of fabric material. And there is a navy lace around the front of it. There's a fuku on the tongue that has the cosmic heart in the middle of it. And on the laces, there is a spiral heart moon rod in metal, which kind of ties it all together. These are really pretty shoes. Uh, I would definitely wear these day to day, like out shopping and stuff like that. They look comfortable. Hopefully they are. I will also try these on and let people know over on my Instagram page what I think of the comfort. By the way, if you are wondering what my Instagram page is, it's Sailor Snubs. It's spelled the exact same way this YouTube channel is with no space in the middle. So you should be able to find it really easily. Okay, so these next shoes are basically Princess Serenity sandals. So these are little slip-on sandals. Uh, these I needed to size up a bit because the sandal itself, the strap along the top was a little tight. So I sized up a bit. They are pretty simple. These come in a couple of different colors. There's a white version and then there's a tanner color. There's a strip of pearls along the strap that goes over your toes. And then there's also an embroidery um, kind of a gold look along the top that's super sparkly and that's supposed to kind of accentuate the idea of Princess Serenity's dress. So it definitely gives off that same kind of vibe. I really think they're cute. Uh, these, I'm not sure if I would wear them outside or just wear them around the house because they're so adorable and I wouldn't want to get them dirty. They're really pretty. And the last ones in my first box of Grace Gift shoes are these adorable how do you say it? Espradils? I don't even know. Uh, but these are basically simple shoes. They look like they're made out of knit or canvas material, which is really pretty. Uh, they're very simple shoes, so these are definitely something casual. I think they would look really good with a adorable like dress or something like at the beach. But both of these feature little Sailor Moon embroidery. So we have one of Sailor Moon's wands along with Sailor Moon crystal with a heart around it in embroidery on the first one. And the other one has Sailor Moon's Fuku bow from the, it looks like the second season. These also came in a variety of colors. So if you wanted ones based on any of the inner Sailor Senshi, you could get different colors for each of those. They also came in pink as well for Sailor Moon too. I think I got the pink ones too. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next box, which features the clothing items as well as some more shoes. <laughs> because nobody can have enough shoes, right? So I got a coin purse. This coin purse has a navy ribbon that you can wear around your wrist. It says Sailor Moon crystal on it with a little uh, crescent moon. This coin purse features Sailor Moon's crystal star brooch on the front of it. It's super, super shiny. And if I open it, oh, it's made out of a nice suede material on the inside. Well, that's a nice surprise. It's very shiny too. It's extremely shiny, like really shiny and very reflective pink. I got some skirts. These are tulle skirts. They're made of tulle, which is really pretty. The tulle has some printing on it of the Sailor Senshi signs, as well as Luna and Crescent Moons and some stars. And they come in navy blue, as well as a pretty beige color. Uh, they are fully lined, which is great. And they are elastic at the top, which I'm very happy to see because if they weren't elastic, chances are it wouldn't fit my fat ass. Hey. So I'm so happy these are elastic. I can actually try these on and let you know what they look like. It looks like they're the right length too. Uh, they might be a little bit short for me, 
which I'm not super surprised about. However, with that said, they might look really good like T-length type of dresses. So I'm really excited to wear these. I think they're really cute and I'm happy that I got them now that I see that they're elastic. Yay! Here's the beige colored one. So you can tell that they have the same type of printing on the tulle skirt. Uh, and then this one is also fully lined with the elastic at the top. They're so pretty. I also got this tote bag, which looks very similar to a tote bag that I picked up, I think, last year during one of the collaborations on Premium Bandai. But this is a nice little shopping bag, so I could definitely bring this with me when I'm shopping or something. And it does have a little pocket on the inside where you can stick little things, too. It's plaid. It has Sailor Moon on the front of it from Crystal, and she's sitting on the Crescent Moon which is very pretty. It's printed right on there, so this is not something that I would wash or anything like that because it would probably rip the printing on the front of it. This is a really pretty dress. I got a large in this dress. It is not fully lined. You would have to wear something underneath it, uh, but I thought this would be nice for like the beach or something like that because it's very thin material, so I think it would be really nice and lightweight for the summertime. The neckline is super, super long, and it features embroidered cats with little bows and ribbons, so that's really cute. And it does have buttons all the way down, so you could leave this unbuttoned, or you could close it and then tie this belt around it too. So very pretty dress. Only came in a couple of sizes. I think it was medium and large, and these are definitely not made for you know, large chested people or large waisted folks like me. So I'm not sure if this is going to fit or not. I'll have to try it on and let y'all know. I tend to have pretty good luck with shirts. So I did get a few shirts from Grace Gift this time around. I got the Sailor Moon one with the traditional classic anime Sailor Moon on a crescent moon. This one is in white and it's a thinner white material. So I'd need to wear something under it to cover up. Uh, but very pretty, and it's really nice and soft material. This is a Sailor Moon Crystal one where she's blowing a kiss, and it's in full color, full color printing on the front of the shirt. Uh, this one feels like it's probably 100% cotton, uh, so it will likely shrink, and yeah, it's 100% cotton. And it also looks like it's shaped very similar to the Uniglow t-shirts, except this one looks like it has better sleeves on it. The sleeves aren't gigantic. So I think this will be really cute to wear. I got that same exact shirt with her blowing the kiss in just like a pink gray scale. So not much to say about this one, but very similar. This last t-shirt that I got features Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal on the front of it. And it looks like it's just a print screen on there. Uh, and then this one features pink sewing around the neckline as well as the arm openings. This one's probably my least favorite out of them because I'm not sure if I will like this style of shirt, but I'm gonna try it anyway. That's it for the clothing. I did not get any of the shorts or the pants. I figured those probably would not fit me. However, seeing that the elastic is on the skirts, maybe the pants are built the same way. I know Ochiba Wolf on Instagram did get the pants, so I would definitely recommend checking out her Instagram page to to see if you like those pair of pants from Grease Gift as well. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this off with the rest of the shoes that I got. Sorry, Starbuck. These are pretty similar to the pool shoes that Grace Gift came out with last year. So these are the same kind of material, that like foam type of material as the pool shoes from last year. Uh, these do not have liquid inside of them, but they feature some glitter that does kind of move around on the inside of these straps. Uh, the straps are in a pretty gingham type of print, like that plaid material. Uh, one side has a silhouette of Sailor Moon from Crystal, and the other side says Sailor Moon Crystal with a heart around it. I think I got these in pink as well, so I'm gonna look through my box and see if I can find those. I found them! Yay! So here's the pink ones, which are also made out of that foam material. I can see why these ones sold out faster than the black ones because they do have this really pretty holographic type of background for the straps. They also have really pretty shiny um, heel padding, basically, uh, that says Sailor Moon Crystal on both sides. It's like this pink holographic type of color. Very pretty. Uh, same thing with these, Sailor Moon Crystal silhouette, so not much to write home about on that. And they also feature the glitter on the inside of the straps that does kind of move around. Here are the pink espadrilles. I still don't remember how to say that correctly, but these are the pink version of the same kind of shoe. 
These feature the crystal star brooch and they also have Sailor Moon crystal and embroidery on both of the uh, platforms. So very, very pretty. And then the bottom of them, nothing exciting there. It just has a grace gift print. So it's not a Sailor Moon print on the bottom of these shoes. These ones are super pretty and I kind of want to order these in different colors too because these sandals are adorable. So these are simple white sandals. Uh, they are the kind of thong sandals that you would normally see at the beach. On these there is embroidered gold ribbon along the edges and then on the strap, like right where your toes go, there's this really pretty white bow. And this bow is made out of really nice flowy material. On the center, we have the crystal star brooch, and we also have a crescent moon on both of the shoes. Very cute. These also came in a really pretty navy color, which I think I would love, especially for the summertime. The last shoe that I really wanted to show you today is the last one in the box, which is the knit sneaker for Sailor Mars. So I really like the color combination with these. I love the purple ribbons and I love the purple lace and I love the red uh, strap along the center and the little Mars logo on the side. I think they were so pretty and they look really comfortable. So I can't wait to wear these. I think they are gorgeous. And these one also feature Sailor Mars's transformation pen in the center of the laces. Oh man, that was a lot of shoes. My husband's gonna kill me. <laughs> To be honest though, I probably won't keep all of these shoes. I definitely don't need three pairs of sneakers and stuff like that. So I'll, I most likely will sell some of these if they don't fit me correctly or if I just don't like the, the style of them. So I'll just have to figure that out later. But if you are interested again in seeing the comfort and the fit of these on an actual pair of feet, from Merca, then check out my Instagram. It's at Sailor Snubs. And let me know down below in the comments which ones were your favorite and which ones you would love to see more information on. Let me know, because I'm always excited to open Grace Gift packages. I love their shoe collaborations. They're so freaking cute. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And to all of my subscribers who are watching every single video that I put out, thank you so, so much for the support. I appreciate it so much. And I'm really happy that I can bring this Sailor Moon joy to the world to other folks that love Sailor Moon as much as I do. I still have a bunch of boxes to get through, so I have a bunch of videos prepared for y'all. So be on the lookout for those and also be on the lookout for the giveaway winner for my Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, which I am announcing next week. I'm so excited to share those with you. So you still have a little bit of time to check out those videos down below. So make sure to hit the links down below in the comment section. Also check the prices of all of these shoes in case you are buying them after retail. So you know what prices you should be paying. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Jenny.